We're going to go in and change this config register now, and I've got two really good real-world tips for you in case you ever have to do any of these at a client site. And first off, let's just go ahead and get the config register changed. And again, the command here in the iOS is config register. And let's say I'm setting it to 0x2142. And you might have noticed it took like a split second longer to drop down to the next line. Uh, the config register, sometimes it'll hang there for two or three seconds. I've seen it do that on several routers and then drop to the next config line, so no big deal there. Uh, now we've got this config register changed to ignore the NVRAM. And in many password recovery procedures, we would now reload the router and either have to send a break sequence if it's an older one or take that iOS out and then reload it from there and force it to go into raw monitor mode. Thing is, though, we didn't really get a message about the config register being changed there, did we? Hmm. Let's run show version and see what's going on there. And at the very bottom again, config register is still 2102, and we are here informed that it will be 2142 at the next reload. So again, the register value will not change until we reload the router. So wrapping this up, the one real world tip I wanted to give you here, one more actually, was that at the very end of a password recovery procedure, you're going to be asked to set the config register back to its default of look in the NVRAM for the startup config file. Change that and reload it again because usually you've got more than one reload involved in a password recovery procedure. It depends on the hardware. Thing is, though, people tend to skip that last step. And it doesn't hurt anything until someone reloads it, because if you reload a router and it's set to ignore the NVRAM, you know what happens? I know you know what happens. What I will do here is go ahead and do a reload and you'll see exactly what happens if this config register value was at 2142 and then reloaded. And we're back and this is what happens with that setting of 0x2142, reload the router and you are prompted to go into setup mode because the NVRAM contents were ignored and that includes the startup config file. So just something to be aware of because again, that, that config register could have been left at 2142 for a year, you know, or however long it was since the password recovery. Nobody changed it back to 2102 at the end. And then finally, a year later, the client reloads the router and it comes up in setup mode and you get a panic call. It's like, oh, you know, my configuration's gone, my router's gone. It's asking me all these weird questions. What I would do is say no here and I would go in and just simply run show version and see what that config register is. And again, you'll have to look at the particular hardware version, but if it's saying, if that config register is saying, hey, ignore the NVRAM, that's your problem right there. That concludes our look at password recovery here and the configuration register, and it is time to move on.